Hmm, now that he mentions it, I did take a card. It was the Ten of Hearts, right? What? Well, how'd he... He got it right again! What could I say? You too. You've stolen something of my most valued possessions. Ten of Maximilian's hearts. You sure do have a lot of hearts, don't you? <laughs> I'm putting my faith in you, sweetie! He didn't just call me sweetie, di sweetie did he? Alright, let's make this a absolutely fabulous case! Come on, Nick! <clears throat> so now that we take the case, it's time to get out of here. Circus entrance. December 28th, very big circus entrance. We're here again. Yep, but this time we are here for work. It hasn't been that long since the crime, so the police are still on the scene. Let's find someone who might know something about what happened. Sounds like a plan. Alright, so there's nothing here yet. We're gonna go to lodging. December 28th, Lodging House Plaza. This seems to be the dorm where all the performers in the circus stay. Really? So, that stoogy clown should be here, huh? He's so kooky! Ah, it's you two! Oh, Detective Gumshoe! I always see you hanging around when I'm on work... Uh, working at a crime scene, pal! You always seem to be working so hard, Detective! I'd rather not be working hard, but with a crime, you don't make your own hours. If I have to be at the circus anyways, I want to see the lion tamer and the tightrope. However, no matter where I go, the show is always the same. Dead body, stage left. Nick! Nick! He complained! <laughs> That's a rarity. Let's go back to business now, okay? Okay, so now that we found him, let's talk to him. Tomorrow's trial. You know... Who will be the prosecutor in court tomorrow? Of course! It will be Miss Von Karma! Ugh, she isn't gonna hit me with her whip again, is she? What do you have to worry about? You only have to see her in court! When she shows up at the precinct, the sound of the whip never ends, pal! Detective Gumshoe? That's enough about Von Karma. What about the, that guy? What is he up to? That guy? What happened to Edgeworth? You know? The Edgeworth that's Nick's rival! What in the world happened when I went back home? M Mr. Edgeworth? You haven't heard what happened to him? Nick won't tell me! Well, to be honest, I'm not at liberty to tell you either. Let's just say he's not around anymore. He's not around? Nick! What does he mean Edge Mr. Edgeworth isn't around? Exactly what he said. He's not around. Edgeworth is gone. Don't say his name again, okay? N nick Okay, let's ask what happened. The ringmaster of the circus was murdered, wasn't he? Yep, last night around 10 p.m. He died outside in the cold. A pretty sad way to go if you ask me, pal. It was rather cold. This is the scene of the crime, pal. The body was found right over there. Right about where you're standing now. Ah! <laughs> Surprised you, didn't I? I'm not laughing! Excuse me, but excuse me, but do you mind telling me what happened to the victim? He was killed by a blow to the noggin, pal. Eep. It's a pretty clear cut as far as murders go. He was discovered quickly, but but there's just one thing that doesn't quite fit. Ha! There's always something to There always seems to be something that doesn't quite fit. All right, well, let's talk about what's unusual. What was this one thing that just didn't quite fit? The thing you mentioned earlier? Footprints, pal! Footprints! Footprints? Look at this picture of the crime scene. What's this? A wooden box under his body? No clue, pal! Some forensics experiments took it back and are examining it now. And, and, what is so mysterious about the footprints? Whoa, calm down now! Take a good look at the footprints in this picture! The victim's footprints are on the scene. That's right, pal. The problem is... The killer's footprints aren't there. Bingo! Where did the killer come from, and where did the killer run off to? Obviously, there is no way the killer committed this crime while flying. A flying criminal? That's when something just clicked in my head. 
That guy can fly! But there's no way! Flying is impossible! That's right, flying is impossible. Absolutely impossible. Haha! <laughs> What's with the hollow laugh, pal? I meant nothing by it, pal. Better stated, it means I don't want to talk about it. Maybe I can get some info out of Mac about Max out of him. Okay. So, now that that's done, let's go to present. And profiles, let's present Max's profile to him. It looks like Max is the most unpopular guy at the circus tent. You know what they say, a bad attitude follows you everywhere. Hmm, he's a bit arrogant, but he didn't seem that bad. But just because someone has a bad attitude doesn't make them a criminal. It's not just his attitude. I've got proof, pal. Huh? He left something at the scene of the crime. One of his magician's trademarks. An incredibly well-made silk hat. Well, it does have very classy decorative elements. Hmm, silk hat, huh? Max uses a cloak, silk hat, and white roses as his signature symbols. Pretty mundane, aren't they? Who cares that they're mundane? At least they are easy to understand. I must have hit a nerve. That's what he said. Who said? The eyewitness. Huh? To tell us about the eyewitness. Okay. Talk. Let's see a eyewitness. Um, how about any eyewitnesses? Ho ho ho! You know I'm not gonna tell you that! That's the prosecutor's trump card. Hmm. Oh well. Oh! I just remembered! What? I forgot to mention that you two are barred from entering that lodging house! Uh, why is that? Oh, no reason! Just something I remember to tell you! It must be because there's an eyewitness inside that lodging house. Let's check it out. Oh no you don't, pal! Uh, okay. Move. Okay. We're... He told us not to go in, so you know what? I'm gonna be nice and not go in. We're gonna go to the big top. December 28th, very big circus, big top. The circus stage sure doesn't look this small out from out in the audience. Wow! This is where they perform, isn't it? Nick, do you do some somersaults? I'm not doing any somersaults. Why not? You look like you'd be great at it. Why do I look like I'd be great at somersaults? Grrr. Huh, Nick? It wasn't me. Tiger! He's coming this way! Oh god! Ah! Nick! You're too young to die! Nick! Stay! Stay! Heal! Grrr. I'm still here! I'm not dead yet! Nick! Nick! Are you okay? Oh, scared you, didn't I? Bridget is such a cute tiger, isn't he? What's the matter? You two sure are quiet. Don't! What's the matter? Me? Ninnick, he almost died there! Ha! Huh, he wasn't anywhere close to getting hurt, let alone dying. This little tiger hardly ever bites people. And besides, people normally never get to play with a ti wild tiger, right? So if you think about it, you're actually really lucky. Huh? You agree, don't you? I guess? Well, what do you mean, you guess? Why are you agreeing with her? Woohoo! Your costume! Eh? It's cute! I want to try it on! The costume? You mean my clothes? You don't mind letting me try it on, right? Uh, I guess not. Really? <laughs> You're the best! Wow, the tables turned quickly on that one. So much for the tiger thing. Oh, I forgot to introduce myself. I'm Regina Berry, the renowned animal tamer of the very big circus. My name's Maya Fay. I'm a spirit medium. Phoenix Wright, attorney at law. When you put us up next to an animal tamer, I bet we look really odd. Nice to meet ya! 
Uh, likewise. <clears throat> Alright. Let's talk to her. Let's see what happened. Hey, Regina! What do you know about... what happened last night? You mean the murder? Uh-huh. My dad was murdered. I can't imagine how hard this must be for you. Err, that was insensitive. That's right, the ringmaster was your... Yep, the ringmaster was my dad. I'm so sorry about what happened to him. Why do you say you're sorry? Eh? Anyways, everyone was here practicing last night. Even your dad? Yes, everyone was here. We finished up around 10 p.m. After that, everyone went off on their own. I was the only one who stayed around here. Why did you do that? I was playing with Regent. Regent, so she was with that beast. That's what the police showed. That's when the police showed up. When they took me to check things out, Dad was dead. For someone whose father was just murdered, she seems awfully perky. I wish she would tell us more about her dad. Alright, well, let's talk about her. That's incredible that you're an animal tamer! If you'll say so. It has to be really scary! Scary? Why? Huh? Regent isn't scary, he's cute! Ever since Leon died, Regent has been my best friend. Leon? Yes, Leon the Lion. Leon the Lion. Regent and Regina. Interesting name choices. Leon, he died? Yes, actually he was killed. My dad killed him. What? Why did he do that? I'm not sure why he did it. It's tough not to get charmed when she looks at you with those innocent eyes. <clears throat> okay. Let's, um... Uh, go back. Present? Oh, I didn't want to present that. What about this? Can you tell me? Um, I'm not really good at figuring out hard things. Really? You two? I understand exactly what you mean. I never expected Maya to make a new friend in a strange place like this. I didn't mean to do that. I'm not sure what... Okay, there we go. It's R. There we go. After Praxis was over, Dad went back to his room. His room? Yes! That door right over there leads to the ringmaster's room. Hmm. I don't know why, but he went off to his room in a hurry. I wonder what happened. The ringmaster's room. It's probably a good idea to check it out for myself. Alright, so we're gonna leave her alone to sparkle. She can just sparkle all by herself. Let me move my mouse down here. December 28th, Big Top Ringmaster's Room. This was the ringmaster's room? Yes, this room belonged to the victim, which means this must be where Max met the ringmaster last night. Now that you mention it, that is what he said. I wonder what... hmm, that's an interesting poster. Ah! It's a poster of Max! I want it, I want it, Nick! I want it. I, I want to get out of here. Okay. So, we are going to examine. Let's see, we're... Examine this right here. It's a table for guests. Oh, that's not what I want. Oh, yeah, it is. Uh, oh, look! At this! Max's salary is written on this piece of paper! Yikes! Well, what is it? I didn't know that a magician! The salary is incredible! She looks like she's about ready to pass out from shock. How much is it? How much is it? Th th that much? Incredible, huh? You can say that again. This must be the paper they used to negotiate Max's salary. The ringmaster signed and dated it. What's the matter, Nick? Max definitely got a raise, but this document is dated a week ago. Hmm. Weird. Hmm. Let's examine this poster. There's a lot of posters here, don't you think? Yeah, there are indeed. So many posters that they aren't likely to miss one, are they? Maya, we're supposed to be honest to ones around here. But, but, you didn't even notice that I took one! Ugh, she already swiped one. <laughs> You're incorrigible, you know that? Okay, well, we got a poster. Nothing left to do here, really. I mean, we could look at some stuff, but... Let's go ahead and head back to the big top. Um... Let's 
present profile. It's Max! Hey, where is Max now anyways? You don't know? Nope. He's been arrested. He was charged with the murder of your father. It's okay. Nick and I will help him. Max isn't the guy, is he? I mean, the criminal? Of course he's not. I'm worried about so many things right now. Hmm, like what? 